Well, we can now speak with the political strategist, David Moore. Um, David, thank you very much indeed. How's this for a strategy? 60,000 asylum claims approved in, in a year. Well, thank you for having me on, Tom and Emily. Well, it's absolutely nuts, this notion you can just hire more civil servants and somehow become more efficient without leaving ECHR. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Labour says smash the gangs, but what does that mean? Uh, Labour decided to, to hire more civil servants and deal with a backlog, yet we all knew when the border force went on strike and the army took over, uh, it actually was more efficient despite having uh, fewer, fewer soldiers. The point being is Labour do not want to tackle the issue. They've scrapped Rwanda despite the fact countries like Germany that have a centre-left government already planning their own versions of Rwanda, and Denmark and other parts of the European Union too. Labour are just too afraid to offend their NGO friends who have this idea that you know foreign courts can rule over us, affect parliamentary sovereignty, and basically tie our hands and see the ridiculous amounts of net migration going on, because it's not sustainable for public services, for, for housing, especially with last year when you had 1.2 million people enter the country. And yet, David, of course, you're a Conservative councillor. Wouldn't, wouldn't the uh, audience be forgiven for thinking he would say that, wouldn't he? What the Labour Party says is it's your party that, of course, let in oh. all of these people, had them up in hotels, at least processing these claims. They won't be in the hotels anymore. I completely agree. We had 14 years to, to rectify this. And, you know, the problem is right now is both the last 20 years, this has been an issue since Blair got into power, you saw net migration go from the tens of thousands to the hundreds of thousands. And this is why from now on, especially with the Conservative leadership coming up, if the Conservatives to survive, they need someone who wants to leave the ECHR. That is the elephant in the room. And I said before as a Conservative, I said about Rishi's plan, I said, you've got to leave ECHR if you're going to have an efficient Rwanda scheme, if you have those planes leaving the runways, or you'll continue to have guerrilla warfare conducted by these foreign courts against us.